today I'm going to go book shopping in Washington DC and I love checking out the local bookstores in just the different areas that I travel to and so I was looking up some of the popular ones just independent bookstores or even secondhand shops the one behind me is called Crammers I think and it's pretty popular it's an independently owned store that has apparently a good selection of books there's even like a restaurant that is connected to it so that's pretty cool too i'm excited to go check it out and just see what they have so yeah let's go inside and check it out yeah i feel like they have this is probably like the new collection it looks like a lot of like the new releases Mmm. I read Akhtar. They have that. Okay, let's see. I think this is the YA section. Oh yeah, The Stolen Air. I recognize Polly Black. One of us is lying. I've heard of that one. Mm, I really like Station Eleven. I really like Station Eleven. That was a really fun read. Okay, I oh, I've heard about this book a lot. I don't know if it's like a thriller or what. The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Yeah, I think it's like a murder mystery. This one sounds really interesting. Evelyn Hardcastle will be murdered at 11 p.m. There are eight days and eight witnesses for you to inhabit. We will only let you escape once you tell us the name of the killer. Interesting. I think I'm gonna hold on to this. Oh, this is so cute. I love the cover. Oh, the tea is hot, the scones are fresh, and the dead are just passing through. So I think, oh, okay, okay. I recognize the style. When, So it's like a series of the house in the Cerulean Sea, but I think this one is first, so I shouldn't start off with this, but oh, wait, if, the, if I can find it here, I might actually get that. Mm, love this book, too. I want to reread it at some point. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I feel slightly overwhelmed, but I just need to... I just need to look around, just keep my eyes open. I want to look for the house on the Cerulean Sea. I don't think it's here. I see a different book by TJ Klune, but I don't see the house on the Cerulean Sea. Darn. Okay, I'll just keep my eye out. Maybe, maybe it might be in another section. Ooh, I think this is like the sci-fi section. I liked Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. I know it's like the first one in a series. I think the second one is Parable of the Talents. I feel like I do want to give it a try though because I really did enjoy Parable of the Sower. Oh, wait, is this a collection? Oh, it's just the first two. Okay, so she writes a lot of um, sci-fi, but it's like, what if this happened? like far into the future dune i never finished reading the series because i really liked the first book and then the second book kind of i don't know it was getting a little too religious for me almost i just didn't expect that i absolutely love this series i highly recommend um, the Broken Earth Trilogy by N.K. Jemisin. This is the first one. And they have, and then there's the Obelisk Gate. Oh, but I don't think the third book is here. But yeah, it's so good. I really liked it. Wait, is this another series? Oh, it is. The, but what's the first one? I don't know where the first book of this. This is book two. This is the Inheritance Trilogy, books two and three. We have a great selection of authors here. Neil Gaiman, he's so fun. Oh my gosh, they even have some Ursula Le Guin. Oh my gosh, I, I think I might want this one. The Lathe of Heaven. Okay, Left Hand of Darkness I have. I'm currently reading right now. Wizard of Earthsea, obviously I loved this. It's part of the Earthsea trilogy. It's the first one, I think. It's so good. Ooh, this is a cool version of Left Hand of Darkness. I think this is one of like her classics. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, I would love this if, okay, if someone gave this to me as a gift. Books of Earthsea with illustrated. Oh, wait, where are the illustrations? Oh, I see, I see. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. I just want to have it on my shelf. Like, I understand reading it would be kind of hard because it's so big and bulky, but having it all in one place. Oh, is this the romance section? Of course, we're going to find her here, guys. Remember her, the romance girl? These are like some of the books I've been wanting to read, like Kiss Quotient. I heard of this, Hook, Line, and Sinker. There was another, oh, Love Us First Bite. Yeah, this is the one I really liked. Oopsie. That I featured in my, in a previous video, my January books. <gasps> Manga! I think. Ethan Hawke wrote a book? Stephen King. Maybe this is like the horror section now. Because he's here, right? Yeah, he's here. Yeah. Like, one day I want to try some of his books, but... Yeah, I have this one. And then this is maybe... I don't know if it's a sequel, but I feel like it's like a similar style, maybe? Schindler's List. Never read that one. I mean, this is a classic. It's cute. I like the cover. Yeah, guys. I mean, one day I want to read it, but I don't know if that day is today. This is so cute. The Buried Giant. It's not super big, but they have a really good like selection. I feel like. Oh shoot. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to it. This is the kind of bookstore where it's not super big, but you can't miss any shelves because then you might be missing out on like a potentially really good option. So I feel like I really need to scour everything. I really wanted to read this book, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. And of course they have it here, but it's $25 expensive place of greater safety by hillary mantel it says george's jacques danton an ambitious young lawyer is energetic pragmatic debt ridden and hugely but erotically ugly L -O -L -L. did you check out the other side already let's go there really quick yeah and just see what kind of books they have there yeah, I think this is a non-fiction section. Mm -hmm. Atomic Habits, that's a good one. Mm. I'm not a huge politics non-fiction reader. I'm interested in a lot of topics, but somehow I actually don't end up reading a lot of those kind of books. So, but yeah, but I think it's really cool that they have this whole other side just dedicated to like politics, yeah, nonfiction. It's pretty cool. Fart! I forgot your birthday. Happy birthday, pothead. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't need to say anything more. I've already talked everyone's ear off about that book, but it's here. Oh, there's remains of the day. Oh, but the cover's all like wrinkled and shriveled. I don't really like that. Toni Morrison is like an icon of a writer yeah i read this in high school so it's been a long time rebecca okay this is so fun i love this book it gives me um bronte vibes like it's kind of gothic and it's like i think an old novel but it's really fun mm -hmm. <gasps> i don't want to touch it Okay, my picks are, I have The Buried Giant by Kazuo Ishiguro, but I, okay, I need to choose, so. Yeah. But the cover is so pretty, pretty. Okay, The Lathe of Heaven, this is by Ursula K. Le Guin. I love her as a writer. Are penguins? No, they're turtles. Oh. I don't know if that actually has to do with the story, though, but I've heard about this one, and I do want to get through a lot of her books. Parable of the Talents by Octavia Butler. This is like the sequel to um, Parable of the Sower, which I already read. This is another book by Octavia Butler. I don't know if it's starting a new series or what, but it's just completely different and it's called Pattern Master. So 
yeah, it's like, do I continue a series? Do I get a new one? And then actually, now that I'm looking at the other ones, I don't know if I want this one. This is like a, oh, it says it's a gothic mystery. Like a murder mystery. Mastery ball. Oh, English country house. Shoot, that sounds fun. So next stop is a place called Lost City Books. And I think that this might have um, used books. I actually hope that they do because I love a good used bookstore. There's something so fun about having to kind of dig around and just see what you can find. And it's not always gonna be like the newest books, you know, but you never know. So there's something really fun about that. And I also love getting a deal on books because yeah just pay full price man that adds up i guess because president's day so a lot of places are closed that makes sense oh here we are oh, city book wait oh look even here there's new used and new and so cool wait i love when bookstores have little tabs that say like staff picks and then kind of explain what they like about it yeah there's a lot of staff picks here i like that if we were villains love this one Ooh, this is a very cozy copy of Home. This is such a cozy book. Ooh, I read this book last year. Oh, this is such a cute copy though. This is fun. I guess this is one of the staff picks. Awesome. Ryan and I, we have similar tastes, don't we? Hmm, intriguing. Or it's a cake by Margaret Atwood. Whoa. Oh, oh. That was close. The idiot. That was another staff pick. And either or. I like the staff here. I think we have similar styles. Never heard of this or the author, Miriam Chansey. Oh, wow. It's about um, a huge earthquake that hits the capital of Haiti. And it talks about all the different characters that were affected by it and in what way. Hmm. I really enjoyed this book as well. I think it won the Man Booker Prize last year, A Passage North. That, it was really nice. I liked it. They have everything. Memoir. Oh, cute little kids and young adult section. I want to see what's upstairs, though. Ooh. Black studies, LGBT, world history, anthropology, political science. First editions. It's like old sci fi, like used copy. You see it? This is four dollars.
I really like Jeff Vandermeer's books. Um, so, curious to see. This is really short. Thank you. 